Hello, collective. Um, my name is Calum. I am an empath, a psychic, tarot reader, and oracle of sorts. Uh, and I'm gonna get a general collective message out today. Um, before we begin, I'm gonna ring this bell. If you have any kind of like sound sensitivity, you might wanna turn your volume down because it can be a little loud. Um, and I'm gonna ring that right now, so... Um, I don't know what this reading's gonna be about. Uh, my sister, I'm at, I'm at the park with my sister right now. I don't really know where she is. Um, they're running around looking for uh, feathers. So maybe we'll see them at some point. But yeah, I uh, they were helping me move stuff today and I ran into like a bit of a roadblock with my moving process, so we were sitting at my house and then I felt called to do a reading, so we came to the park. Um, so I'm gonna get a message out. I, again, I don't know what this is gonna be about, I just had the urge. So let's see. What is this message about, Spirit? What does the collective need to know at this time? We have the Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords came out in reverse. So I almost feel like you're breaking some sort of... Breaking some sort of... Um, like, hindering thought pattern around community. We have the Nine of Swords, reverse. I guess we're going to take reversals today. Why not? We have the Queen of Wands reverse, and the Knight of Wands. I just wanted to Well, stop attacking the geese. I wasn't. I was standing just close to them. Well, don't stand close to them. My bad. It's all good. Hmm. Can I get context on the Queen of Wands reverse? Clarify the Queen of Wands reverse. Page of Swords reverse. Give me context on the Eight of Swords reverse, Three of Pentacles. We have the Fool reverse. Knight of Swords. I don't want it to come out. Why not? Temperance Reverse. And while we're at it, why not? We'll just pull some for the Knight of Swords as well. Just to get the board filled out a little bit. Seven of Wands Reverse. Ooh. Okay, so... The Queen of Wands reversed with the Knight of Wands feels like, um, sorry, I just had to let it process. I almost feel like the Eight of Swords reverse might actually be an amplification of the energy with the Nine of Swords reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse, it, it feels like... It almost feels like being trapped in some sort of... Well, I mean, headspace with the Eight of Swords. Um, but also, like, the Queen of Wands, it's like one of those cards that's like um, following your intuition and your passion. And the Knight of Wands feels like a call to do so, to actually take the action. But the Queen of Wands being in reverse feels like you haven't been following your intuition. You haven't been um, moving forward with 
Mm. Like not, you're not stepping into your power almost because of this Nine of Swords reverse anxiety. Um, Cause the Nine of Swords is like a call to release anxiety and fears. So in reverse, it's like these things are almost unbearable. Um, and the Queen of Wands reverse makes me feel like you're supposed to be in some sort of position and you're like actively avoiding it. And the Knight of Wands feels like um, advice for that. Like, you need to be stepping into your power, kind of. Um, and I, I, that feels kind of amplified by the Fool Reverse, the Knight of Swords, and Temperance. I want to look at the Knight of, so Knight of Swords before I continue. Right toward the future. Enthusiasm and abundant energy. I almost feel like you're faking yourself out, kind of. The Knight of Swords is like... Like, I'm hearing it, it like, too good to be true. Um, temperance Verse almost feels like you're forcing yourself into the Temperance energy when... Or, like, how do I put that? Like, because I always see temperance as, like, the sign to, um, like, have patience and trust in your own strength and power. And it being in reverse, it's, like, um, it, it feels like ignoring, not ignoring, that's not the right word. It's, like, disregarding the signs that the universe is sending you, almost. Um, like, I'm just imagining someone with their hands over their ears going, la, 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 la. <laughs> and the Seven of Wands reverse, it's like you're not fighting for what is meant for you. Page of Swords reverse, I'm gonna read on that as well. Enthusiasm and the desire to explore new lands and meet different people are favored, so go for it. Others will also come to meet you and bring gifts and news, friendships, and perhaps some new journeys. Be careful always to remain balanced and to understand the difference between you and them, as so not to antagonize those who are different and not to hurt anyone whose beliefs and convictions may differ from yours. I want to get more cards on the Page of Swords. The King of Swords flew out in reverse. Yeah. Wow, with the Queen of Swords. You might be thinking too logically about something. I'm not exactly sure what this, what we're talking about yet. Because the Three of Pentacles it really feels like the only indication of what you're kind of like running from the three of pentacles being like working in a team towards something i usually see it as like working in a team to build in a project like i mean these these guys are hard at work in like a mine um so there could be like some sort of offer that's come through that you aren't taking advantage of King of Swords reverse with the Page of Swords reverse it makes me feel like you're scared to ask someone for advice. And the Queen of Swords feel is like head over heart. It feels like the advice of this all too. Uh, huh. The affirmation I just got on my phone is today I am a problem solver. It feels like you need to Like, look at the situation for what it is and stop building worst case scenarios. The Emperor is at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> and I just split the deck on the Shaman. It's like, you need to look inward and realize that you have all of the 
you're so much more ready for this than you think you are. Let's keep pulling. What is, what is this reading about, Spirit? What is this reading about? What advice does the collective need to hear at this time? Split the deck on the devil. Split the deck on the empress. Whoa, a bunch of cards just fell out while I was shuffling. I'm going to put them back. Uh, let's look. Seven of Pentacles, the wheel. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, wait, no, that... It, it does feel like there's some sort of offer that's come through or is about to come through that you're like... Like, like, faltering on, almost. And I feel like you're aware of it. What, what is, what is this about? The Page of Swords, Queen of Cups. Hmm. Three of Swords, Reverse. shaman again. Wow. It's like, you know where you want to be, but you don't know, you don't want to deal with the growing pains it's going to take to get there. Because I'm seeing the Page of Swords and the Queen of, Queen of Cups as, like, the potential of whatever th this offer or situation could bring you. Um, but the Three of Swords in reverse contributing to that, it's like, in order to reach that, you have to experience some sort of heartbreak. Um, the Chariot. The Six of Swords reverse. No, Six of Swords upright. And the Two of Swords. It's like... Yeah, no, it, it's heavily giving that some sort of offer is coming your way. Um, you just have to make the decision to let it in, to, like, actually take advantage of it. We have the Sun, the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Two of Wands Reverse. Hmm. Yeah. Like, you're afraid of some sort of conflict. Like, with the Five of Swords being at the end here, it, it feels like you're... The Five of Wands contributing to the sun, it's like, again, that energy of, like, having to deal with some sort of argument, some sort of uh, misunderstanding to enter your sun energy and the five of swords feels like a fear around um having to deal with that outcome getting what you want but others being upset with you almost um and the two of wands came out reversed which makes me feel like there's some kind of like it, like inaction um is the collective aware of what this offer is I'm gonna set the two of cups. So we have the seven of pentacles and the three of wands reverse. And then the Knight of Cups rever Knight of Cups and the Empress reverse. I almost feel like I should get two more cards just so it's like set of three. We have the Knight of Swords. And I'm gonna pull one more just so I have. Uh, hmm. Whoa, the Ace of Cups and Death Reverse. Yeah. Interesting.
What's the Empress reverse? Can I get clarity on that? Five of Cups reverse. Oh, interesting. What's the Knight of Cups? The Knight of Wands reverse. Oh. So, the, the Seven of Pentacles with the Three of Wands reverse is like... I don't even know how to describe that. It's like, you did something in the past that's bringing this opportunity to you. What's the Three of Wands reverse? Let's get, let's get clarification on that. Because the Three of Wands is usually like the... It's like a, a journey. It's um, traveling to far off places to like reach your goals. We have the Page of Wands. It's like something that you're excited about and something, that you, something you will be excited about when it comes through. But some the the ability to take action on it is being blocked and i'm not i can't exactly tell if it's you blocking it or something else i feel like it is you and i'll get into that in a second with these other cards what's the page of wands the queen of pentacles reverse yeah you're not it's like you're not putting yourself out there you're not taking the step diving into the hole um the knight of one knight or sorry the knight of cups with the empress reverse I'm a little confused about that. It feels like we're talking about career, but this could also like apply to love. Um, and justifying those two is the Knight of Wands reverse and the Five of Cups reverse. It feels like a refusal to let go of something. The Empress reverse could be a boss who maybe... It's like... The Empress Reverse with the Knight of Cups upright, it, it feels like not being willing to... It's like being unwilling to face some sort of karmic energy for what it is. And when I say karmic energy, that can resonate for different people in different ways. Whether that's somebody who just isn't for your highest vibration. Seven of Cups reverse on the bottom of the deck. Um, or it could be someone who's taken advantage of your energy. Uh, in I, How I see karmic relationships, karmic ties, um, is that like these people are placed in your life for you to learn a lesson about your self-worth, about people that are put in your life to teach you how to be I mean yeah the, the highest version of yourself I don't have my crystals so my bandana is like flowing in the wind um, yeah and then with that um, the Knight of the Knight of Wands reverse is clarifying the Knight of Cups, so it feels like you aren't taking action. You, um, it's like refusing to take action, and that action being expressing how you feel. Because the Knight of Cups is an energy of um, really following your heart and um, expressing yourself. Um, and with the Five of Cups reverse, with the clarifying the empress reverse it feels like um refusing to grieve this karmic energy can i get one more card for the empress reverse five of cups reverse the six of pentacles reverse because you're refusing to, to acknowledge how this person is taking from you and then we have the knight of swords reverse with the ace of cups and death reverse um Knight of Swords reverse. Knight of Swords reverse. Let's take a look at the Knight of Swords again. Ride toward the future with enthusiasm and abundant energy. Enterprises are to your advantage and of those by your side, whether in peace or in war. Your only dangers are being presumptuous and not realizing when it's time to stop. Can I take this message? Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Um... 
Marvels and riches will be yours in abundance, but who did they belong to before? When you take your skills, uh, when you take what your skills have managed to create, remember that your great merit should be shared and not displayed with conceit. It almost feels like the Ace of Cups is some sort of offer that's going to come your way that's going to kind of flip your night. If that makes sense. I don't feel like it does. But, like, whatever the offer we've been taught, like, it's been very vague as to what it is. We're just getting, like, really general ideas. Um... The Page of Swords got flipped over when my bandana, like, was blowing in the wind. And it, it feels like a reminder that whatever this offer is, it's going to be very... It's going to give you the chance to really expand. Um, but once it comes in, I feel like it's going to prompt some sort of death... Uh, not not literally like the death card. I never really see it as a physical death But it's going to completely change your situation and maybe completely change your perspective um, I'd like to get clarity on what exactly this offer is We're gonna pull some letterman for that I also might need to move because the Sun is moving and I don't want my son my, my fuck my phone to overheat <laughs> We will see. Wow, the Empress just fell out of the deck in the upright. Um, okay. Shuffle these. Gosh. Okay. I'm gonna set these to the side. Gibbs. Would you be down to move, move right there? What? Would you be down to move right there? Sure. Let's do it. So my phone's gonna overheat. Mm -hmm. So I think the Gibbs might be taking it over. It's okay. Go geese, geese are chill sometimes. Geese are chill most of the times if you don't antagonize them. We'll give it a, a moment. I want to pull some Letterman cards and then... Okay. What does the collective need to know about this offer? What is this offer that's about to come the collective's way? Can I get any sort of insight on that? Uh, I'm kind of hearing no. <laughs> so that you don't expect it, because spirit kind of wants this to be a surprise, so it kind of forces you into this, like, awakening. But we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. The clouds being the first card feels like confirmation of that, but I feel like since it's the first card, it's gonna be something that is soon to be revealed or has already been revealed. Context on the clouds, the mountains. Yeah, honestly, it, it feels like your vision is being blocked at this time. For good reason though, like it's not an act of malice or of deception. Yeah, uh, whoever this writer is, they just, or maybe this writer, whoever this, this person is bringing some sort of offer they're overcoming some sort of blockage whatever it is I like the, it, this is soon to come to you can I get more context we have the snake the garden
the lady. Move and then I'll expand on this. Um, could you just grab my bag? Please, I can just put it back in my backpack. Thank you. One second. I will expand in a moment. I'm not gonna stop the video because I don't spiky feel like editing. There. What? It's kind of spiky over there, but it'd be like that. It'll be fine. That's why I'm not stopping the video, because I don't feel like editing it. Sometimes. It, it, I did like a pick a card reading, um, like a month ago or something. I can help you edit it, or I can just edit it for you. I love editing. Perhaps. I need to get my computer fixed, because then I'd be a lot more open to editing. It's just that my computer screen is broken, so... Okay. Um... I almost feel like there's gonna be... Hmm. Snake, the garden, and the lady. Assuming that you are in your more feminine energy, I feel as though a snake is gonna, like somebody who has previously either worked behind your back or tried to deceive you or has deceived you is gonna try to have some sort of meeting. The nature of that meeting, I'm not necessarily sure. I want to pull some tarot on that. Well, let's get the third row of this and then we'll, we'll see. What else does the collective need to know about this meeting? Ooh, yeah, they want to, this could be like the heart. Oh. Interesting. It's like somebody, oh. It's like somebody that, that has maybe done you wrong in the past wants to meet up with you to try to make things right. Um, and I honestly don't know if it's a bad thing. We're gonna pull tarot in a moment to clarify that, but we have the lilies here and it's at the end, so it makes me feel like they're coming, th coming through with like actually genuinely pure intentions. I didn't even say the cards that we got, sorry. We have the ring, the heart, and the lilies. So someone wants to make some sort of love offer, um, or at the very least, clarify something. Um, but they're, they're doing it from a place of like pure intentions, a place of kindness, of a uh, place of love. So let's pull some tarot on that. Um, Okay. Spirit, can I get clarification on the intentions of this, this snake individual? Um, what can the collective expect from this person? What can the collective, how should the collective approach this situation? What does the collective need to know? That was like three questions, but it is cool. We're going to make it work. Whoa, okay. Not taking all that. Not reading all that. 
Jeez Louise, dude. We have the King of Cups came out first. Ace of Swords reverse. Knight of Swords reverse. Ace of Pentacles. It's four cards. I don't know. I'm going to set the King of Cups to the side since it came out on its own. That'll just be like energy to reference back to, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, it feels like they want to tell the truth for once I'm hearing. Maybe this is someone who has lied to you a lot in the past, which this is not advice. Um, I'm purely here to provide like confirmation and clarity of what you already intuitively know. If this doesn't resonate at all, just leave the messages for someone who it does resonate for. Um, but the Ace of Swords reverse with the, the ring makes me feel like somebody this is somebody who may have, like, talked behind your back, told lies about you. Um, and the heart with the Knight of Wands reverse makes me feel like they... It's like to, they did that to put on a facade. To make it seem like they didn't want anything to do with you. But their offer is of pure intent. What is this offer? What is this Ace of Pentacles? The Ten of Pentacles reverse. Clarification. What is this Ace of Pentacles? Hmm. The Page of Swords and the Queen of Cups came out again. Ten of Pentacles reverse. It feels like somebody wants... Like, their their intentions can be pure, but... If they did something to wrong you, and it, it is... If that crosses a line and it's not okay with you, it's important that you use your own discernment and not allow someone in your life just because they're... I, I don't know. We do want to practice forgiveness, but also you can forgive someone while not allowing the behavior to take place any further. Because um, the Ten of Pentacles reverse with these other cards, it, it makes me feel like they... Like, want something that's too good to be true. The King of Cups being outside all this energy, it's almost like they are better now. They are more aware now. More self-aware now. Especially with the Queen of Cups being the last card here uh, to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. It's like they, they are more tapped into their emotions. We have the King and the Queen, so it's like they've found balance within themselves. Maybe they... When they were telling these lies, it was like from a place of insecurity, a place of being immature. Um, I'm going to put these cards back and reshuffle. How, how is the collective going to feel about this? The lovers. Interesting. Can I get more on that? clarification for the lovers. How is the collective going to feel about this? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So it feels like this is... This quickly turned into a love reading. Um, ooh, the Four of Wands reverse with the Eight of Swords. I'm, hear I'm hearing take it slow. Do not make any hasty decisions do not be rash about this because this it's like this has the potential to be something great if you both take the 
the work that it's going to take to make this fruitful seriously. Because if you stay trapped in an old perspective, um, like I was saying, like we practice forgiveness with this person, perhaps if it if it is worth it. Because you also, like I, the Empress is at the bottom of the deck, so I feel like you are in a position where you know what is going to be best for you, and, um, but like what I'm I'm hearing is if you take, if you rush into this, go too fast, um. It has the potential to be turn this this celebratory um, thing into something poisonous. The Knight of Pentacles is really your advice here to to move slowly and build over time to not rush into anything. Can I get um, can I get clarification on the Eight of Swords and Four of Wands reverse? We got the Ace of Swords reversed with the King of Cups again. I'm gonna put them back because I didn't fully shuffle the deck. Um, we'll, we'll see if it comes out again. I just, I don't know if that was really chance or by how I put them back in the deck. Um, can I get clarification on the Eight of Swords, Four of Wands reverse? The Six of Pentacles flipped out. And then we have the King of Wands and the Six of Wands. Yeah, it major message of discernment. It's important that you, you evaluate this situation, this offer, however it comes to you, and you are the only person that can make this decision for you. Um, it's important that you decide whether this person is someone you should give to or whether they are going to steal from you. 7-Eleven, when I looked at the clock, um, like, which that that is the same message. That you need to be present in the moment with this person. You need to be present and pay attention to the things that they're saying, the way they're approaching you, the energy they're approaching you in. And you need to decide with all of the factors that are being given to you in that moment. Um, only you can decide if it's worth the, the venture. And in using your discernment, in deciding what's best for you, in the end, you're going to come out on top no matter what. 747. Um, yeah. Interesting. Why does that not feel related to... Well, no, I guess... We've had so much love energy coming through the last couple weeks. I don't know why I felt that was so business related before. I guess the, the Three of Pentacles earlier could have been a... It could be a... Like, romantic energy. Because the Three of Pentacles is just about, like, having a group of people who help you to reach your goals um which could be speaking of a romantic situation but I, I don't know I always take it as a like like business sort of thing I'm gonna reshuffle the Lenormand and we're gonna get some more context on your your situation what was this this the energy that the collective was in about inaction. Um, can I get more context of, uh, about this inaction? What is this this path that the collective should be following that they're not? The scythe. Yeah. Again, it like leaving some sort of situation to rebuild to create new things. Yeah, movement leaving something behind so that you can move forward with your life what 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 do they need to move forward toward the writer the writer and what anxiety but you have some sort of anxiety around 
moving forward about maybe ooh, context on the rider the ring in the book what hmm we have the heart and the whip I'm gonna take my shoes off I love these shoes, but they like, they hurt my feet. They're big and chunky. Cute. I was just gonna ask how it was going over there. That looks pretty good. Oh, much better. Um, One, two, three could be significant. I've been seeing that everywhere. What, one, two, three? One, two, three. It's like you're trying to work up the courage for something. Gosh, it is spiky over here. So many different things are stabbing me. When I was at the hotel the uh -huh. one night, um, I kept getting one on the box. I don't know if that really? helps. We have 11 here. I've been seeing 11, 11 a lot too. They just kept saying one first, one. Interesting. Hmm. What is this anxiety about the rider? What is this anxiety? It's mice energy. Hmm. It's like fear of success. What's the house with the book? What's a clarifier for that? The ring. Whoa. I don't like the vibe of that. It's giving home wrecker. <laughs> it's giving cheater. The heart. What's the heart and the whip? The fox. It's giving cheater. Are you cheating on someone? What the fuck? What's the scythe with the, the ship? What it? Give me a clarifier card for that. The bouquet. What the fuck? What are you doing? Well, okay. I don't. I'm not. I, I won't jump to conclusions. This is reminding me of a reading I did, like, three weeks ago. Did I release that reading? There was a reading I did a few weeks ago where I talked about someone who was leaving an abusive situation um, where somebody was cheating on them, and they were also looking towards someone outside of the relationship. And I'm just going to give the same advice I gave in that reading that if you are looking at someone outside of your relationship, end the relationship you're already in because that's only gonna open a whole can of worms. And you're also involving whoever you're interested in, in that. And that is not healthy. That is not progressive or a good idea in any way because you're only making things worse for yourself. You need to deal with the situation you're already dealing with before you start another. One, one, one. Um, but also this could just be, I'm just a little sketched out with the house and the book. It feels, that feels like a secret in the home about a contract. And that contract, like we've been talking about, feels like some sort of love offer. And the conflict in your heart, it's like the, the, the heart with the whip in the fox feels like
I don't know. It could either be a conflict, like arguments about your heart, about your intentions. With the fox, it's like secretly making moves about that or secretly arguing about your heart, which feels like internal conflict, like keeping, keeping a secret from someone so they don't know how you feel. Which could just be this gentleman, the... I'm fucking so confused. Sorry, I, I'm just cursing a lot. <sighs> okay. Because it almost feels like someone wants to make an offer towards you and you want to make an offer towards them at the same time is the vibe I'm getting. What, can I get context on the house and the book and the ring? The devil. The devil and what? Context on the house, the book, and the ring? The queen of wands. And justice, reverse. It's like, what's this devil energy? Too many cards. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> the tower reverse with strength reverse. Two of Swords reverse. Okay. I'm trying to wrap my head around all of this because in the beginning we were talking about you, the collective, kind of refusing to leave or look at a situation for what it was, the Empress reverse. And the tower reverse feels like the that that death reverse we were talking about earlier as well. But oh god. This energy is heavy. How do I put it into words? Sometimes it's so hard because you, you're like getting so much information that it's too much to vocalize. I'm gonna clear the board and we're just gonna pull three cards because I feel like so much just got thrown at me. Um, we're going to pull three Lenormand and then use Tarot to clarify it. What, what is, G give me some advice for the collective. Let's, let's just clear things up a little bit. Let's get an idea of how we can move forward since we're, we understand how confusing this situation is. How can the collective move forward? 
the ring. I saw the heart. I'm putting it back because it fell out as a bunch of cards. I only want three. How can the collective move forward in this situation? The rider flipped out. I guess we'll take these two together. We have the ship and the bouquet. I'm gonna have them join as one card here. Um, you need to make a move. Whoa. I feel like the tables have turned here. Like, I'm still confused why we were... It, maybe that is what that was talking about. Because I've been looking at this as if some sort of offer was coming towards you. But it to me, it seems like you are the one that needs to be making moves here. Because your advice moving forward is the ring, the rider, the bouquet, and the ship. So, like, you need to be making some sort of offer to someone. You need to be making the move to establish some sort of contract with someone. I don't even know if I need tarot. Like, that's just what this says. Because the ring is a contract card. The writer is about someone, someone coming in and giving an offer. Uh, typically, it's a love offer. And I'm going to take it as that right now because of the overwhelming heart energy around all of this. Um, and the bouquet with the ship... The bouquet is a gift, the ship is movement, so you need to make a move and give a gift. The gift being the gift of union, uh, 212 as I looked at the clock. The gift of union, the gift of sharing your heart, speaking your truth, the knight of cups, like we were saying earlier with the knight of cups and purse reverse. Uh, confront the truth. Look at things for what they are. Hold on, I'm gonna move this forward. Um, yeah, and I feel like, oh, I just realized my framing has been kind of shit since I moved. That's a little better. Um, something just hit me. Something fell out of the tree. I know, but it wasn't a squirrel because there's no squirrels up there. Should be falling, you know? The Queen of Wands. I just keep hearing take inspired action. Like you need to be following your, your passions. Um, the magician, I'm not gonna take it reversed. I'm not gonna take any reversals from here forward because my brain is just getting tossed around kinda. Maybe I'll put that back since I said that after. Um, no reversals. What's supporting the Queen of Wands? Five of Swords. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, we had the Eight of Pentacles flip out, but the Chariot, like, actually came down after that. I'm gonna have that start the next row. Two more cards, please. Wow, the Ten of Cups just flipped over. Whole bunch of cards. We have the Lovers. And then for the final row, Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups.
sorry. I'm just having, I want to sit with this so I have like, I can express this whole story here clearly. Because Spirit's kind of given us like a play-by-play. -play. Not play-by-play, -play, but like, they're saying you need to make an offer. Um, at first, it's gonna be a little scary. The Queen of Wands is a call to follow your passions, to uh, lead by example, um, be the example you wish to see, kind of. Um, and with the Five of Swords, it may be, it's gonna maybe start some shit. Uh, people are gonna be looking at you differently, but also at the same time, they're, they're saying like, that's the way that the Queen of Wands moves. She moves by her, her passions, what she really wants, not what other people think of her. Other people's perceptions of how she moves has no effect on her perception of herself. Uh, and the Eight of Pentacles is, um, like it's a card of hard work, but in this case, it feels like you're going to this five of swords energy isn't going to be all for naught. It's you're going to see the result of this effort. It may suck at first. It's going to be shitty to see the people around you either switch up on you or uh, like almost take offense to the things that you're doing. But it's going to be worth it. You're going to have this sculpture in the end, which it's also interesting that sculpture in this is, is two lovers. And then the lovers card is right below it. We have the chariot and the ten of cups. This is on the arrival section of this spread, so it's like the Ten of Cups is going to be coming in once you make, but you have to make this action. You have to put the work in. You have to follow your heart. Uh, I'm almost getting Queen of Cups energy, which we've gotten numerous times, um, but the Chariot with the Ten of Cups, it's like this Ten of Cups energy is coming towards you as soon as you, ma you put that first, make that first choice. Um, and it's going to lead to this, this lover's situation. Um, I'm going to read on the Five of Pentacles before I say anything. But I feel like I have an idea of what this is trying to say. Think about where to go and who you should ask information and help from. No one is ever really alone in finding solutions or making mistakes. You will come across a gift and a generous person, but only if you have the sensitivity to recognize them. Otherwise, something will be taken away from you or the encounter may not be entirely positive. And I, with that in support of the Three of Pentacles feels like a call to really look at the people that you're working with. See who's left over after this Five of Swords situation. Um, and then the Nine of Cups is the, the final advice there. Like, Can I get context on the Three of Pentacles? Yeah. Okay. The confirmation of what I was thinking. Like, you need to reflect um, and look inward at the people that are around you. Um, can I get context on the Five? Judgment. Yup. Yup. It's like... The Nine of Cups, it's interesting that this is the card they chose to be the advice at the end here because it feels like take stock of the people around you and really see if these people align with your goals and see if they're worth um, like your energy, I guess. Because the Nine of Cups is a card about celebration, but celebrating alone. Like she's filling her own cup. She's celebrating on her lonesome. A little rough. Oh, dirty. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> oh my god. I have mud all over me. Oh my god. Um, 
Can I get context on judgment with the five of, five of pentacles? Seven of wands. Yeah, I kind of feel like... Oh, what is that energy? How do I describe that? Because the seven of wands is like competing for what you want, taking what's yours. Um, but not in like the seven of swords sort of way where it's like cheating people. The seven of wands is like taking what's rightfully yours. And, um... Can I have the key to your car? Why? So I can get my other pants. Yeah. I'll also grab your fish guys. I've already gone so long without them, it's alright. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Make sure you lock it. Okay. Um... Let me get one more card for the Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups. King of Wands. Yeah, it, it's heavy on... You're going to have to decide who gets to work with you, who stays around you, who stays in your energy. What's this? Can I get context on the Nine of Cups? Since we... Ooh. the empress came out it came out in reverse i know i said i wasn't taking reversals right now the other two cards we got were the shaman and the four of swords those are the ones i'm gonna take i don't feel right taking this empress it feels like that empress reverse energy from before We're going to put the Empress back. I feel like that's what the Four of Swords is a call to here. Your Nine of Cups moment, the celebration that you're going to have to have, is going to be with yourself. But the celebration is being able to like truly look yourself in the face. Being able to look in the mirror. See, but I'm confused now. Because Okay, never mind, never mind. Spirit just gave me the download. The advice we were originally looking towards is that you need to make this offer. You need to 311. As I looked at the clock, that is that is an angel number about taking action. But you can't just go what I'm hearing is you can't just go and make this offer to this person. It, like, you need to work towards this. You need to sort your shit out, <laughs> um, is what Spirit is saying here. Because, like, it seems like you have a ton of stuff to sort out. The chariot with the Ten of Cups and the Lovers feels like a reminder that this is going to work out, but only if you sit with yourself for a while. Only if you get yourself into a position where this is going to work out. My mom is calling me, so I'm going to end this here. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day, morning, evening, night. Um, subscribe, like, I love you, bye.